We're uh, in this morning's very own ice cream parlour with Phil Vickery, who's... I don't know what you're doing. Oh, no, I was just panicking there. Delicious. Yeah, um, what have you got? Right, well, three ice creams. Here we go. There they are now. Um, we've got mint oh. choc chip, that's a raspberry ripple, honeycomb in the centre, and then mint choc chip on the end. I'm yeah. not coming to your ice cream parlour again, though. Why not? Look at the size of the portions. <laughs> well, it's just... You, this know... is a, you in that in that <laughs> little shot there, you had... You... And each one of those ice creams was well, in one bowl. Well, actually, all three ice creams in one tiny we bowl. We did think about how big should we give I've got about, I've got sweets and a flake here. It's in a bigger no, bowl. I was, I was slightly concerned that we had to, the bowl's going to be too big. <laughs> <laughs> I really was. Sorry. So we can have some more anyway. Now, ice cream. Now, oh obviously, when you make so ice cream, good. you can use a machine, and the more expensive machine you get, obviously, the better it is. Now, they are quite expensive, and um, and sometimes. We come up with recipes which you don't need an ice cream machine for. Now, I've done it before. There's some of the nicest ice cream I've ever eaten. Oh, oh which, which one was that? All of them. Oh, OK, right. I can't decide. The thing about They're ice so cream smooth. is... smooth. The thing about ice cream is the, thing, the two things that don't freeze are sugar, a saturated sugar solution, and alcohol. Yeah. So, as long as you, if you use those two things in ice cream, you get ice cream that, to me, has the mouthfeel where it doesn't have crystals. Mm. I get really angry when it's crystally. So, here's a great recipe. In this oh, pan God. here... I'll get that boiling. I have here... Bring this over here. 300 grams of caster sugar, OK, and 150 grams of water. You put those into a pan and you boil that for five minutes. Now, you need to uh, do the temperature, sorry, the timing for when the centre of that sugar syrup is boiling. OK. okay? Otherwise, it goes out. Scary boiling sugar, isn't it? It is. You've got to be very careful. That's yeah. about 116 degrees now, mm -hmm. so it will burn you. Five minutes on the clock. At the three-minute stage, you start whisking the egg yolks, mm. like I'm doing now. OK, so you can see that there. This sugar syrup is now ready. And at the five-minute point, when that sugar, you then gently pour the sugar syrup into the egg yolks. And you'll see, because that is so hot, it will cook the egg yolks in. But you've got to be really careful. You have to be that. careful. If that spits out onto you, you're going to properly But you see, that... I'll, 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 I'll turn it off in a second. That will now poach or cook the egg yolks. It's like a custard. Yeah, it's like a custard. And you whisk that until it goes completely cold. voluminous mm -hmm. and then until it goes cold. And it ends like this one here. There it is. So you've got the, what they call sabillon, mm -hmm. OK? Ah. Now, that, that, that's cooked the yolks and that's your base of the ice cream. And then the other thing to do then is you add that to whipped cream, mm. double cream, which has a higher fat content, which is soft whipped. See that? So it's still falling off the spatula. And so you, that's not over whipped? No, because otherwise what tends to happen is it goes to butter. And when you freeze it, you little, little sort of globules of butter because you've ever whisked it. Oh. And then that is it. And all you do is bring those two together. OK? And then you've got... So that doesn't need to go in an ice cream machine. That's it? Nope. That's it. And you'd fold that... Oh, you've got to be a bit careful. You'll see that... It. Now, the thing that I said to you earlier on is the two things that don't freeze sugar and alcohol. Mm -hmm. Now, what I've done here is you just mix that together and you'll see oh, swirling no, no. together. Half goes into a, a, a freezer-proof dish. And then here, I've got a mixture of raspberry or, or fruit of the forests or whatever you've got here. And you just want to swirl that through to get your raspberry ripple effect. It's, that is the, the taste of the fruit in this it's one is amazing. That's unbelievable. <laughs> it is. And then just swirl that through like that, so you get your raspberry ripple. Put the rest on top and do the same again. OK, now I'm rushing a little bit here because obviously we've got a bit short of time. But, but the, the, the essence is there, that it actually just does work. Now, any fruits will go into there, whatever, into the freezer. Best overnight if you can. And just the lovely raspberry ripple effect. But it will last in the freezer. Oh, for weeks. Mm. Weeks and weeks and weeks. Now, if you don't do that method, I've got another method here, which doesn't even use a machine. In here, I've got condensed milk, can of condensed milk, which is about 385 grams. In, the, in that it goes. And, again, because it's got added sugar to it as well, you get a nice soft texture. Then I'm adding honey to that as well. So you're just, you are increasing the sugar, I, I, I have to say. But you'll get a nice soft mouthfeel. Then vanilla extract mm -hmm. to give the nice base flavour. You will get a bit of vanilla from the condensed milk anyway to start with, but a little bit of vanilla into there as well, about a tablespoon. And similarly to this one here, you just want to bring that together and then pour on the same amount of cream, double cream again, not whipping cream, because that's a lower fat content. So you end up with a, a softer ice cream. And it can be quite brutal with this one here. Just whisk that together. 
Like which, one, which one is, which one is that? This yeah. is the condensed milk. So this one here uh, is the honeycomb. Uh-huh. So what I've got, I've well, chopped here one. is um, one of those very famous honeycomb bars, coated in chocolate. I'm not going to mention it. Well, crunchy. You, you said that, not me. <laughs> you said that, not me. <laughs> but, what, but what you need to do is cut them in half or chop them up mm. and then re-coat them in chocolate. That way, it stays perfectly uh, mm. nice in the ice cream because it tends to weep a bit. Here I've got the mixture that I've done before, which you just add those two. And then I've got, using the same base here, I've got a ch mint chocolate chip that uses after eight mints, chopped up, peppermint extract, or you can use a peppermint liqueur. Uh, and I've got one of those very light um, chocolate bars that has bubbles in it, coated in... Arrow. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then what you've got here... Sorry, I thought you. it was a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I want to be slightly careful. So here are the ones that I've frozen. So you've got the, the raspberry ripple that we did. I yeah? cannot get over how simple that is. I, honestly, and how it's, incredibly delicious it is. It's not rocket Why science. is all ice cream? Why do people waste tons of machines then? But because you do... I mean, they are fantastic and you do get a really, really nice creamy that, end result. The, the condensed milk one is, is amazing. Yeah, the only thing is sometimes it can be a little bit sweet because you're adding a bit more sugar. There's the ripple, as you can see. And then here I've got the finished... This is slightly softer, but you can see... I'll stop eating it. ..the actual honeycomb. And then here we've got the, the actual... That lovely crunch. See that? That's what I wanted to show you was that lovely crunch with the after eight mints as well. Come on, I'll get out of the way and you can carry it yourself. Going? No, no, you, come here. Just pop, okay. come on here. <laughs> just, just which one do you want? Um, which one do you want, sir? Can I, have, the cone? can I have one of the the the, the crunchy one? Yep. And uh, can I have the, the, that one there? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks so much. Right. I'll come back and pay you later. No Put it on my tool? tab. Your credit's good. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. I'm just really shocked because I, I would never think to make ice cream because I always think it's a bit of a faff because you need all the gear. You do. But if the secret is that needs to boil for five minutes. Mm -hmm. So you get a nice sugar syrup, then you start whisking out at the three minute point and that will cook the egg yolks. What other flavours could you put in? Oh, it's it, anything you like. Now, if you're going to add alcohol to something, I nearly did a rum and raisin, then you need to cut the sugar down slightly because the alcohol will make it too runny because it doesn't, uh, doesn't set. It doesn't... So it's just about playing around with sugars, that's all. Um, I love honeycomb, I don't think you can beat it. And I just like the dead simple one with, with the black currant spoiled through it as well. Oh, yeah. Or even fresh strawberry puree. And to the other great thing, canned strawberries, liquidised, put through, fantastic. Great. Strawberry syrup works every time. Can you make frozen yoghurt one day? I can do. No problem at all. And all you do there, ba a bag of mango, frozen, liquidised yoghurt, put in the freezer. It takes five OK, months. we've done it. Brilliant. Well done. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Simple when you know, isn't it? Thank, Thank you. Thank you for all the rest of the details. Take a look at uh, our app as well.